Hey, if you're like me, you've had your eye out for a field monitor for your A6500, or, or any other camera for that matter, and you want it to have great features, you want it to be quality, and of course, you want it to be budget friendly. Does that sound a lot like you? If so, I think I have the solution. And that's coming right up. Hi, I'm Arnie Jacobson, and we talk travel, camera gear, and tech. If you're into any of that, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below, and don't forget, click the bell icon also so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. After all, you want to be part of the club, right? And make sure that you check out the show notes in the YouTube description below for more details. So what do I have? Well, I have the Feel World MA5 5-inch field monitor. A mouthful. I don't think we're going to say that again. It comes in this nice little heavy nylon case. It even has this kind of nice little carabiner. Let's just go dig in it and check out what's in there. You have the monitor itself, and it's really quite light. I'm, I'm very surprised at how light it is. We'll go over some of the other, the finer points of it here in just a little bit. And then you have two cables, HDMI to um, micro and HDMI to mini. I think I flipped them around, but there are two of them. You can see them. <laughs> And you have a sunshade, nice little addition, and it's held on via Velcro. And last but not least is the uh, clamp itself. It's very nice half U-shaped clamp, I guess you'd say, that's oftentimes on more expensive, the small rig monitor comes to mind. So, very nice addition. Taking a look at the monitor itself, you'll notice that all around is the Velcro I was mentioning before to hook the sunshade on. On the top, you'll notice has two function buttons then it has arrow buttons to help you get through the uh, menu, menu power, and a quarter 20 here on the bottom as well. On one end, you'll see another quarter 20. On the bottom, you'll see a USB, your headphone jack, a third quarter 20, and a DC out. So you can power your camera via dummy battery or that kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure. I've not used it that way. So I'm a little bit unfamiliar with that. And then DC in, HDMI out, HDMI in. And then on the back, a place for your batteries. Now, one of the things that I'm aware of, and I don't know why this is, when I purchased mine, I did not get a battery. And it, I mean, it didn't say that it came with it, but other people had said, oh, well, we've got a battery. So I kind of thought it would be part of it. You might want to check that if you decide to buy one. I was a little bit disappointed to be truthful, but fortunately I have a couple of them. We'll just slap this puppy in here, slide it in. Ooh, powering up. Look at that. Ooh. Let's add the bracket to it. So we have the bracket on to a nice set. Looks, that's just really great. Again, this is pretty lightweight. We're going to put it on to the Sony A6000. Just slide this right in here. There you have it. Now that, you know, if you look at this, the profile, it's about the same as the camera body itself in thickness. That's really nice. 
has a place here for microphone. Unfortunately, I can't put one up, put it on here because it's right there on my A6500. I hope you can see how crisp and clear that screen is. That is amazing. If you are used to using the rear screen on your Sony, you're going to be blown away. Honestly, I cannot get over how clean, crisp that is, and the colors are great. Wow! I'm literally, I'm blown away. That is just amazing. You know, if you're a Sony owner, you know that you don't have a flip out or flip up screen, and it makes doing vlogging kind of stuff very, very difficult. This is just so, so super. You get to see all of the information that you would, you know, your shutter speed and your aperture and ISO, the whole thing showing up right here on the screen. That is just awesome. I just, I'm blown away. And you can see dump, driving into the menu, you can, using the arrows on the top, you can move around and find different things that you want to do. It's seldom that I get this excited about things. I like a lot of things from my video work, but this is just, I wish I had done this sooner. I, I just am left almost speechless. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we've talked about features on the monitor itself. Two of the main things that I think that I'm going to be finding most useful are the two function buttons on the top. This is particularly uh, advantageous because when you flip this monitor, it doesn't automatically do it. It doesn't have a whatever mechanism, gyroscope or something in there that automatically flips the, the, the scene on the screen. You have to go in and do it. But if you set up one of those as a function button, your problem is solved. So that's, that's really, really nice, having those function buttons. Okay, so let's kind of wrap this up. This was meant to be short, and I'm babbling on. So you get the monitor, the five inch monitor that rotates. It has the three quarter inch threads for mounting purposes. It has the foldable sunshade, the two cords, the tilting arm, the manuals, and the software controls give you things like false color, focus peaking, um, grids, the image flip I mentioned earlier. There's just so much here. I'm just so thrilled. I can't tell you how thrilled I am. Oh, and by the way, the DC power out, if I, if I didn't mention it before, allows you to power your camera. That's a big thing too, because I've got some really big batteries and these things are going to last a lot longer than these tiny little things for the Sony. So that's really a side benefit as well. Obviously, I've been going on about how excited I am about it, but there, you know, like everything else, there are some cons and they are minor. It's made of plastic. Eh, you know, it feels really good in your hand. You would not you're not going to care about that. Battery life. I hear that battery life is pretty short because the monitor does not turn off. It stays on and uh, you have to remember to take the battery out. Otherwise, it's, you're going to drain it. No touch screen. Again, when you're talking, the price of this touch screen is, shouldn't be expected. $169.90. You can't expect everything. And the other thing I'm a little bit worried about is that Velcro around here. Is that going to last? Pretty nitpicky kind of stuff, really. I am so glad I got this. I think you will be too. If you like this kind of content, make sure you leave a comment down below and give us a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. See you next time.